Is she playing hard to get or is she just not interested? Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about how to tell the difference between a woman who is just playing hard to get or she just genuinely isn't interested in you. Before we get into this video, please leave a like and please do subscribe. And if after watching this video, you have any tips yourself or any stories, then please do leave it down in the comment section. Thank you so, so much. So the first way to tell if she is actually interested in you and she's just playing hard to get, then there will be inconsistencies with what she says. So for example, someone who's not interested in you will probably never want to go out on a date with you. So no matter how many times you ask them, they will always come up with an excuse or they'll always say no. Whereas if you ask a girl out who you suspect might be just playing hard to get, if you ask them out and ask to see them, they will still say yes to hanging out with you. Um, someone who is just playing hard to get, who does actually like you, will want to see you, will want to hang out with you and will want to be around you. Because if a girl likes you, she will want to see you, she will want to, she will want to hang out with you. However, if she is simply not interested and she's not just playing hard to get, no matter how many times you ask her, she will always say no to going out with you or she'll always come up with an excuse as to not to see you. Another sign that she's just playing hard to get, and I think this is really important, is that sometimes you need to be very careful with the girls and the women out there that do play hard to get. Um, because sometimes they can be very structured. And what I mean by structured is perhaps she has a lot of rules into how the dating process is supposed to happen. So she might have a lot of rules like, oh, we're, oh we can only kiss after this number of dates, or we can only sleep with each other after this number of dates. Um, and she's like, I, we, I want to be courted this way. If she has a lot of rules, that's kind of strange to me. And perhaps that's not the kind of person that you would want to be with. I personally want to, don't want to be with someone who can't be spontaneous because I go very much from my feelings. So for example, when I first started dating my fiance, I if, if we felt the urge to kiss each other, then we would kiss each other. We wouldn't be structured around it like saying, okay, well, this is going to happen on this date. And then after this number of dates, this is going to happen. If the feeling is there um, and the attraction for each other is there, then it should happen, right? Things should happen between you. But if she's been very like, oh no, this is gonna happen and at this time, that, you know, it's kind of weird to me. And when it comes to these kind of structured people, I personally don't think that that's kind of the relationship that we should be striving for as human beings. Because when it comes to love and romance, it can be very spontaneous and fun and energetic. And if the feeling is there, then I think whatever transpires should transpire. But perhaps you don't mind that. So if you don't mind it, then, you know, whatever, do, do you do you, right? Um, and if that's so, if you're okay with that kind of thing, then, then that's great. But that's something that I personally wouldn't want to go with. I think it kind of spoils the romance if you make everything too structured. Now, of course, structure is good and routine is good, especially when you do enter a relationship, but you should always leave for those moments of spontaneity and adventure and romance. I think in romantic relationships, structure can be a bit of a passion killer, <laughs> in my opinion, anyway. So going back to inconsistencies, um, if she's playing hard to get, um, let's say you're on a date and she's playing hard to get, she might say to you things like, or she might come across as if she's not attracted to you. Um, she might not necessarily say that. If she says that she's not attracted to you, then that's kind of mean. Um, but um, if she's kind of acting like she isn't attracted to you, but then when you two get together and perhaps you start making out or something, she reciprocates. So if she's like reciprocating and consenting to physical touches and stuff like that, when sometimes she can look like she's being cold, then obviously she does like you and perhaps she's playing hard to get. But sometimes women and girls and you know, with, for men as well, sometimes we can just be shy and not really know what to do, especially if you haven't had that much experience and she hasn't had that much experience with intimacy. So if you've had not much experience with intimacy, then you probably are gonna come off sometimes quite cold because you just don't really know how to respond to these certain things. So take that into account as well. But if 
you know, when things do start happening and you're flirting with, with each other, um, she reciprocates. She reciprocates and consents to the flirting, the progression of uh, the physical relationship. Um, if that kind of stuff is happening, um, then yeah, she's, she likes you and perhaps sometimes she is just playing hard to get. But if she's completely unresponsive, like she doesn't want to be around you, she doesn't want to touch you, um, you can tell that she kind of just wants to escape then she's not interested in you and she's not interested in making things go further. She's not playing hard to get. If you can tell that she's getting visibly uncomfortable, then she's not playing hard to get. She's just not interested. But if sometimes she can seem a little standoffish, but when you um, make a move on her or um, you start flirting with her, if she starts reciprocating and warming up to you um, and is clearly having a good time and enjoying herself and is consenting to everything, then obviously she is not playing hard to get and she does actually really like you. But if she becomes completely closed off and she's just not interested, then don't, don't pursue this woman anymore. So let's get into texting because sometimes playing hard to get can really play into texting because you can kind of manipulate, I should say, um, how, how much you respond and when you respond to text messages. So again, this goes into um, if she wants to see, if you ask her to see you, she will still see you. So if she takes a long time to respond to her messages, but still always goes out on dates with you, then she's probably playing hard to get and she's probably just leaving time in between messages or phone calls or something. So if it takes her a while to respond, but she still does respond, then she's probably just playing hard to get and she does like you, but perhaps she's um, not willing yet to be someone who's quick to, res to, to respond or something because we can, sometimes people uh, hold off responding because they don't want to come across as too eager. And I think that's totally fine. Like if you just don't want to come across as too eager, then that's an okay reason to not message someone frequently after they've sent you a message. So that also plays into playing hard to get. So if she responds to your messages, but it takes a little while for her to respond, then she's probably playing hard to get. However, if she completely ghosts you and she doesn't respond to your messages, then she's not interested. If you ask her out over text or something like that, she will be unresponsive and she won't say anything. She will ghost you or she'll come up with an excuse not to see you. But if she's just playing hard to get, it may take her a while to respond, but she still will agree to go out with you. Now, I made a video recently on should you play hard to get? Um, and in that video, I basically go into the reasons why I don't really like the term playing hard to get because I think it is quite a manipulative, shall we say, phrase. But please do go and watch that video if you are wanting to know whether you personally should be playing hard to get. Anyway, I hope this has given you some clarity on the difference between when a girl likes you or and is playing hard to get or when she's completely not interested in you. So I hope this video has helped you. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you would like coaching, then please go to www christineloveridge.com slash shop. Um, there's a few coaching options there for you. Um, there's also a download of a free PDF, a dating manual um, that you can get right now if you want to. Um, and if you do read that PDF, then please let me know if you have any feedback as I am trying to make it into the best possible creation I can possibly make for people that come across my videos and people that want to be coached by me as well. So. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helped you and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye guys.